thermal sound wave wave. Um, all in the, the marijuana industry, you know, there's a multi billion dollar industry that's emerging and the epicenter is California and there's no reason why you know anyone can't get a, get a piece of it so where do you get your supply from is there do you grow it yourself or do you, uh do the government say we're bringing a delivery man for you no i grow good i grow some weed i grow quite a bit of, of marijuana maybe i'll show you maybe i'll take you on a quick tour of a grow spot but anyway i grow i grow a lot but most of most of what i get i get from other vendors other growers they, they come through here there and the other and you know it's it's like having a 7-eleven and buying coca-cola or root beer or your potato chips here in california as a medical marijuana dispensary or collective i buy from different vendors who sell marijuana and but people can grow their own like is it true somebody said you, you get about four plants per person something like that you're actually allowed up to 18 because you can have six at any form at any stage of growth like you can have six plants at the germinating stage meaning this big you can have six plants at the vegetative state where they're just getting some height and then you have six plants at the flowering stage meaning like where they're all budded up you know, so basically you can have 18 plants growing at three different stages, and then you're allowed the proceeds of six plants, the dried product of six plants. So some people say you can have 24 plants, but that's per person. And that's what the state law here in California allows. There's different city regulations actually mandate how many you can grow in a city. You know, there's some that say you can only grow six, and some that say you can only grow uh, uh, up to 99, you know, per acre um, if you are a collective and you collectively have you know multiple doctor's notes and things like that um, all geared towards one crop you can actually have a location that has a lot of marijuana growing but it's for a lot of different people because it's all growing in, in, in one spot you know maybe six of them for this person six of them for that person six of them for this person and it all goes a distributor mm, a provider yeah now do you feel people look at you uh certain people that may feel like you know it's bad in a way because drugs but then of course some people are like listen it's not drugs it's it's, it's, it's herbs do, is do you feel that by actually smoking marijuana it takes more people off of crack and coke like if people that need a fix, like listen, no, it's two different. It's two different things. It's two different things. But I I have heard people say they got out of different rehabs and 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 it, and marijuana helped them get off of um, you know harder drugs. I have heard people say that, but it's such a difference that 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 I wouldn't say that one leads to the other. You know, me myself, I do marijuana. I like that slow effect. Things that make me go fast, I don't like it. I've tried my cocaine when I was younger, didn't like it. It made me go fast. I don't drink coffee, it makes me go fast. You know, I don't, I don't, I don't drink these uh, energy drinks. They make me go fast. I get the shakes. I'm just not built for it, but I am built for marijuana. I don't know why. The better the marijuana, the better I feel. So I've always sold out good, good marijuana. You know, and there's a lot, millions of people just like me. And I don't know how the tobacco addicts in our Congress or the alcoholics in our Congress have decided that their particular vice is better than our particular vice, and they like it better, and they make ours illegal. You know, I don't drink alcohol. I don't smoke cigarettes. Actually, I'm not going. I'm not going. That's a, that's a, almost a fib. I socially drink alcohol. I'm not an alcoholic. I'm not a drunk. I sip a beer here, there, and the other. I have a drink here, there, and the other. But I'm not totally immersed in that whole alcohol culture. I smoke marijuana. And there's millions of us who prefer to smoke marijuana. I don't know why we suddenly why we have to be labeled as criminals. I mean, there's been certain jobs and certain things that have happened throughout my life that I had to make a choice. Like, wow, I'm a criminal if I do that, or I wouldn't last at that job long. I'd get fired. I remember I got hired as a sheriff in Camden County, 
And I knew after I took all the tests, I was number 17 on the hiring list. And I just knew, man, this day, I'm going to get this job and I'm going to piss positive one day on the piss test. And I remember I, I made a conscious effort not to take it. You know, I later took, took a job at the post office. It was almost the same thing. You know, I had to hide and duck and hide, you know, the fact that I smoked marijuana. At some point, I left. It had nothing really to do with marijuana, but I did leave, and I felt freer when I was a coast-to-coast -coast truck driver. I owned my own truck, so, you know, I used to tell people, you know, I bought this truck, so I don't have to pee in somebody else's cup, you know? Like, and I was a coast-to-coast -coast truck driver. And I minded my business, never had an accident, made a very good living until I got busted in New Jersey for a, a small amount of marijuana, almost ruined my life. You know, the laws are the laws are so different from New Jersey to California that you'd be amazed at how many East Coasters are here in California, basically because of the marijuana laws. You know, so a lot of people came out here just to make money. I know two doctors, one from Pennsylvania, one from New Jersey, who both came from their failing medical practices on the East Coast and came here to California and have become medical marijuana evaluators, and they they make a very good income. There's very little overhead. They have an office, a computer, and a and a uh, you know a secretary or two, as opposed to all these other things they had on the East Coast. And they've they've actually made got a little niche in this whole multi-billion-dollar me medical marijuana business, and they're 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 being successful. Here, me doing this is successful. The person who makes those edibles over there, they're 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 successful. Those are I can name. There's about four different vendors who are doing those. The one, the one lady, I call her Grandma Tui. She makes the the cakes. Those cakes are great. She 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 services ten or fifteen other stores, other dispensaries. She has a, a nice little business that she's etched out. The the chocolates I was just showing you, same thing. This guy, this guy's name is Matt. Um, he services probably about twenty stores. Also, he makes his deliveries every Friday. Stocks all the, all goes around. Stocks everybody's refrigerator. Um, the the employees that are here, I employ about ten people. You know, so you give them a lot of people jobs, and you you're, you're circulating money within the community. That young lady who was standing outside there, she was here to talk to me because I was wasn't here all day today. She came to talk to me about a job because she happened to hear that I let someone go. She ran over here to get a job, you know. And to be honest with you, she's a she's gonna be on time. Uh, she'll you think she'll definitely be on time? Well, there was, somebody had a whole no call, no show, and I don't care if you're flipping burgers or selling weed. You know, no call, no show. The job you must not want the job. You know what I mean? And there were no call, no shows. So, you know, this young lady's trying to get a job, and but that that is repeated all over. Like I said, there are 400 dispensaries here in Los Angeles alone. Like I said, I, I employ, you know, close to 10 people. You know, that's 4,000 people if every dispensary had that many people working on.